Perform on our galas at Carnegie Hall. Our new season of auditions for classical musicians is now available. Performance opportunities for students, young professionals, and seasoned artists. Perform as a soloist or chamber ensemble at Carnegie Hall. Form a concerto with the New York Chamber Players at Carnegie Hall. Composers submit their works to be premiered at Carnegie Hall. New this season, Laureate Ensembles at Carnegie Hall. Audition to be part of a three-day intensive workshop directed by some of the world's master musicians, culminating with a performance at Carnegie Hall. Audition live from the comfort of your own home. Get live evaluations from expert judges and expand your online presence through our international internet broadcasts. Additional award and performance opportunities are also available. Visit our website for full details. Don't miss out on these wonderful opportunities to advance as a musician and perform on a world-renowned stage. We look forward to hearing your performances. Welcoming uh, for our in little interview, uh, Marcio Candido, fabulous violinist. Um, I understand, Marcio, you just uh, already rehearsed with the orchestra, right? Yes, we had a, a rehearsal yesterday, and uh, we are about to have a dress rehearsal. And it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah, it's an honor to chat with you. I'm really curious about how that experience of uh, performing this piece, the Sun Song, uh, Rando Capriccioso, with the orchestra, how is it going? Well, it's been a unique experience for me. I, personally, it's the first time I play this piece, particularly this piece with your orchestra. Mm -hmm. I've played this a few times uh, in recitals with piano, uh, but this is a uh, uh, hearing, right? It's it's really different. Uh, I would describe that uh, as uh, very special because you have it, you still have to think. Uh, I believe in the chamber music concept, as I had when I played this with piano, mm -hmm. because uh, even though you are playing with your orchestra, but you hear uh, we changing tunes like the oboe, the flute, right? Even the violins sometimes dialoguing with me, so. It's a still, for me, pretty much a chamber music experience, but let's say amplified. That's an interesting um, take on it, chamber music experience with a big group of uh, musicians and the, and the orchestra. Yes, it's, it's pretty much, I think, um, I, I think the concept, right, of, of listening closely, since this is a chamber orchestra, we can uh, feel a little more, uh, I think, the word for that, that I think it's intimacy of sounds. Mm -hmm. We can dialogue a little closer. Not that we can't with a bigger uh, mm -hmm. range of people and so on, but it's just more intimate with chamber orchestra. That's very interesting. Yeah, wonderful. And uh, you have a very intimate, beautifully sweet sound. I um, I was admiring your sound in the auditions when you were auditioning for the uh, opportunity to perform with this orchestra. And I understand you're from Brazil. What brought you to this country? Yes, well, thanks for the kind words. And uh, for uh, I came here to the U.S. back in 2007 uh, to uh, start, to, to start, sorry, 
a master's degree mm -hmm. in violin performance with uh, with the violinist and pedagogue Eric Rosenblith, and later on I studied with uh, Roman Totenberg and um, and the Kazuko Matsusako that uh, she replaced Eric Rosenblith when he died, and later on I did my doctorate at Boston University uh, under the guidance of Peter Sazovsky. And that, that took me, I think, 10, 11 years of music studies, this journey here in the mm, US. That's a big dive, deep dive into um, st studying music in, in great depth. Yes, yes. I, I think that, and the different, I think, um, perspectives, right? So, for instance, my teachers, Eric Rosenblith and Roman Totenberg, They were um, students of the uh, great pedagogue Karl Flesch, while my later teacher, um, Peter Sazovsky, was a student of Ivan Galamian. So yeah, those are very different schools. Di different schools, but you, they have much more in common than you can imagine. So for me, this um, was actually an evolving process. Right, so when I, uh, not that I had to change concepts or ideas, no, I think I just kept uh, evolving in my uh, learning philosophy, right, my playing, and uh, and I think uh, the, the two thoughts or two schools, if you can say that, right, I think they, uh, they, they talk uh, uh, similarly about many, many things, many, many things, for instance, pronation, supination, Uh, Galamian talks about the system of springs and car flesh, always looks for the less muscular effort as possible in, in the plane. So there are a lot of similarities, I think. That's interesting that you're bridging the schools because um, a lot of musicians consider you know, the differences so great that you can't find any uh, merging points in the area of contact. But uh, you took the best from uh, all those... Um, Well, it's very different schools, and you're finding uh, your own uh, at the at the point of contact in there. That's that's wonderful to hear. Do you see yourself um, going forward uh, more as a solo violinist, or um, as an orchestra musician, or as a pedagogue, or com those combined, or w what is your pu picture of yourself in the future? Well, in short, I love performing and teaching. So for me, even when I perform as a soloist, as, I go, as I'm about to play with the Western Chamber New York Orchestra, right? Uh, and um, also teaching and playing with orchestra, I mean, as, a orchestra, as an orchestra musician. So those things I enjoy very much. So I think I see myself in the future doing everything that I just said. <laughs> You're very versatile, just like... <laughs> about every great violinist um, in the history and um, yeah it's a great pleasure to talk with you and um, it was enormous pleasure to hear you in the auditions and I'm so looking forward to hear um, how that approach to intimacy of the piece is going to come out tomorrow in the concert All right thank you so much for the invitation and thank you for sitting down for the interview with me great pleasure to chat it's a pleasure bye bye Best of luck tomorrow. See you. Thank you very much. Wow, that's just tremendous playing. Wow. This is such, I'm so thankful to be here. This is like uh, amazing. You have a great thing in your playing that very few people have. It's like you make the most technical passage sound like real music. <laughs> It's like really fabulous you know no, i'm not kidding it, those portamentos he doesn't just chirp like a you know like i said before like a woodpecker you know his, his the brahms dot the sanson dot i mean sanson was such a master it's incredible what you did with that theme oh yeah, wonderful I also <laughs> incredibly impressed i'm i'm familiar with the piece um but what a treat what a wonderful treat i found myself swooning and swaying <laughs> so i don't think dickeron used the word swoon so i, I at least no, got I that didn't. one i'm not a okay. <laughs> that's one that you're i got swooning. You're swooning. <laughs> and in just a moment she'll be coming on stage with maestro glenn cortese 
and uh, we're very fortunate to be hearing the Western New York uh, Chamber Orchestra. Here they come. This is Marcio Candido Violin, uh, followed by our conductor, uh, Maestro Glenn Cortese, the Western New York Chamber Orchestra, music of Camille Sasson, the introduction of Rondo Capriccioso. Here they go.
Reception. <laughs> what a warm reception. That was Marcio Candido, violin, uh, from Brazil, who received his PhD from Boston University. Check this out. I know you have always dreamed of performing in Carnegie Hall. So I think this 2023 to 2024 season at Sound Espresivo would be perfect for you. As a platform, we host live online auditions so you can share your music with the entire world. Then we send you to incredible in-person venues like Carnegie Hall so you can perform solo, as a duo, as an ensemble, and with orchestra. This year, we have a total of four gala events at Carnegie Hall, as well as four different opportunities to perform with orchestras in the US, in the Czech Republic, and even in Egypt. We want to help you fulfill your musical dreams. Go to soundespressivocompetition.com to check out our season and to apply.